Hey everyone, it's Iceman, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. This time highlighting the bottom dollar, which a lot of people have been talking about for a while now since it came out. Uh, you've seen a lot of YouTube videos on people talking about it in Twitch chat, but there's one particular thing about it that I have not seen a lot of chatter on. And I don't really understand why, and I wanted to highlight it here. So the bottom dollar is a 120 hand cannon that drops at the end of a gambit match. Its drop rate was really, really low for a little while when it first came out. My first one dropped after I hit Legend in Gambit, which is crazy. It was like 30, 40 games. Um, but Bungie's addressed that a little bit. They've upped the drop rate, and it seems like people have been getting more drops than previously. So the main reason that people have been talking a lot about this, as you can see on the screen, is there's so many different roles that can come on the weapon. It's almost every single perk in Destiny in the, the third and fourth column. But there's a lot of different ways to make this gun a god roll depending on your play style and you can see a lot of people talking about killing winds opening shot explosive payload range finder surplus rampage all those types of perks that you really typically see on a hand cannon and people really really go and farm for in their god roll but there's one perk at the bottom of the third column that isn't even highlighted on light gg and you don't really see people talking about, and that's slide shot. And if you look at the role that I got, I have slide shot rampage. Slide shot partially reloads the weapons magazine and temporarily boosts range and stability when you slide. So Destiny is a game that's based around a lot of movement, uh, and a lot of that movement is sliding. And this procs almost every second it resets very very quickly so as you're sliding into an engagement if you're sliding out of engagement just moving in general you're typically going to be sliding especially at a higher level in pvp and so slide shot is going to be procking and what i think people didn't realize that i did after i started using the weapon was even on a low magazine 120s typically come with a low mag because they their damage is so high there are three tap, two head, one body, three tap potential, and then can two tap from there with a stack of rampage up, which is crazy. But a way to balance that out has been the magazine size being so low and the reload being so low. What I didn't realize was slide shot gave two back in the mag. I figured it would give one, but as I started using it, even with a mag of eight, it gave two back in the mag, which if you think about it with a stack of rampage up you're two tapping everything as long as you're hitting your headshots so you slide two tap slide two tap you almost never run out of ammo because every single time be between two tapping the slide shot is going to reset so you can use it again it's crazy it's absolutely crazy you'll see a lot of that in the gameplay a little bit later on in the video um but another thing that i noticed and is a nice that part that i got on this roll was extended mag brings it up to 11 and backup mag increases that mag to 14, it gives three back in the mag when you slide. So in a PVE perspective, Rampage is still great, but usually 120s aren't used because of their low magazine size and having to reload very often, which is not great in PVE. This fixes that by giving three back in the mag. So it's actually wild. But just to highlight the PVP role that I got on this, Arrowhead Break brings that recoil direction up to 100, and it just makes the gun much more consistent with a straight up and down recoil. So hitting those three taps, two taps is a little bit easier. I do have fluted barrel for a little bit more stability and handling. This weapon loves, 120s in general, loves stability. So this is another good option. Accurized rounds ups the range a lot, which is fantastic for PvP. 120s already have a ton of range. Uh, past what a lot of people say is probably broken which I think I agree with, but accurized rounds gives it a little bit more. And then my masterwork review of being reload, I think I would have liked stability. I would have pretty much liked anything but reload. Unfortunately, that's the, the only dead perk here really. Um, but I would say if I had this be a God roll, I would probably put stability on there. So let's get into the gameplay just a little bit to show you. Um, I'm on my Hunter right now. I'm using Stompies, all that good stuff um the cool thing that you can do with hunters is they have marksman's dodge to reload and i when i played i started to realize that i was doing that a lot more for my shotgun or my sniper if i was using that because there's not a lot of shotguns that have slide shot quick draw on them anymore you want quick draw on most of your weapons in pvp um just so you can get them out quickly you can react quickly that kind of thing 
I was sad when my Mindbender's ambition went away because it had slide shot and quick draw because I was I was relying on slide shot to reload my mag mid engagement. So I always knew that I had something in the mag, but now that I don't have that, I can focus on using my marksman's dodge, which reloads whatever weapon I have currently on. Um, or if I was using dragon shadow, when I dodge, it reloads all of my weapons. I can use that more here because I don't have to worry about using it here to reload because of slide shot. So very, very nice. Um, there's not as much you can do on a Titan Warlock. You obviously have the transversive steps to help reload as you're running, but that doesn't proc nearly as often. So just having slide shot here to help reload this and then allowing me to use Marksman's Dodge to reload my secondary, my energy weapon, um, is, is very, very good. So you can see recoil direction from arrowhead break is very very nice makes the gun very consistent and when i slide i have four in the mag now if i slide again six in the mag shoot shoot slide five shoot shoot two tap slide five shoot shoot slide five and you can just see how this could it's something that gives you so much potential mid engagement and to carry on those long streaks of kills it's I don't understand why more people don't talk about it. And then on top of that, you get more range for that first bullet being a little bit stickier. And then you get the stability as well for that first and second bullet being just more consistent than without slide shot. So very, very good perk combination. And just to show you the three from extended mag and backup mag. I'm down at five. I go up to eight. Eight again. So as you're engaging ads, if you're just clearing out ads with Rampage going, it's very, very nice. And if you wanted to, you could swap out this for Rampage spec to keep that going a little bit longer. You still have 11. Bring it down. You only get two back in the mag here, but you can see the potential with keeping Rampage up and still getting two back, which is just so, so good. So. That's my quick overview of slide shot on a bottom dollar. There's not a lot of other 120s out there that can get slide shot. Igneous Hammer, while having better base perks, um, over uh, base stats overall, and a solid ra range of perks, it cannot get slide shot. So bottom dollar is one of the few that can get slide shot, especially in the energy section. I know steady hands can get slide shot as well. So you might wanna keep an eye out for that on a steady hand now that Iron Banner's been out this week. Um, so yeah, slide shot, very, very good on a 120. Can just chain the kills together, keep the gun consistent and just keep it reloading for you. So with that, let me know what you think in the comments. If you've gotten a roll yourself that has slide shot, if you've played with it, what you think. It's honestly one of my favorite perks in the game. Uh, you know, I've been talking a lot about surplus. Slide shot is right behind it as one of my favorite perks in Destiny 2. It's most consistent, active almost all the time and it gives so much value. So um, again, please let me know in the comments what you think. Please, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, comments. Uh, we're gonna be doing a lot more build videos. We've done quite a few. We're gonna keep doing those along with other very educational videos for PVP uh, across FPS games coming very soon. So I would let, appreciate if you like, subscribed, and then uh, if you wanna come over and discuss any of the roles, builds, anything Destiny 2 uh, related, I'm live four days a week if not five over on iceman 1h on twitch um we talk all kinds of different things fps rpg game related so we'd love to have you there come say hi and i will catch you guys in the next one enjoy this quick showcase of the role in pvp and pve later
control. I know you can fight, but can you hold territory? Enemy claimed Zone C. Zone A captured. Zone B captured. You have zone advantage. Enemy has zone advantage. Zone C captured. You have advantage. This is wonderful! Team that fights together stays together. Some people think I don't like hunters. I don't. I love them. Pressure on. Zone C lost. That's why we have fire team. Double down. Double down. What can stop you if you fight together? Nothing. Zone A lost. Enemy has zone advantage. Zone C captured. You have advantage. Zone B lost. They have advantage. Double down.
Five minutes left. Keep it up. Seen enough. I'm holding this one. Power plan. Keep the pressure on. Sound tactics bring victory. You fight like a demon for these zones. Bring me your friends. I need more like you.